Assalamualaikum. During my first year in master, I was given a task from a professor to study rheological fluid used in normal and everyday car. Since then, I fell in love with this kind of fluid and I try to read as much as possible about it. Hi, my name is Ahmad Fazil B. Ismail. Today, I want to present a paper entitled A Technological Review of Magneto Rheological Dampers. My co-author of this paper are Muhammad Fuad bin Ibrahim and Kamar Hisham bin Osman. Dampers are also known as shock absorber are the most underappreciated components of the automobile, although it was sold more than 50 million units a year. This is because they are not visible or noisy as other automobile components. Dampers are part of the system called the suspension system. The function of the system is to prevent noise, bumps, and vibration from being conveyed to the passenger compartment. Most of dampers are divided into three categories, which are active, semi-active, and passive dampers. In active damper, the system has a sensor and other electronic components where the component will give a feedback according to the sign signal given and the system can decide whether to add or to absorb energy from the system. On the other hand, a passive damper is a static damper. It only absorbs energy from the system. The combination of these two dampers is a semi-active damper. Currently, magnetorheological or electrorheological damper has attracted attention of researchers around the world because this type of damper utilizes rheological fluid that change its viscosity after magnetic field or current or both is applied to the fluid. The term is interchangeable because both fluid react identically when a current or magnetic field is applied. This paper will explore how rheological fluid works and current design of MR damper in automobile. Rheological fluid is smart material and was discovered in 1940s by Jacob Robinoff and W. Wislow in the United States. Although the term smart material is thought to have originally generated in late 1980s. Typically, the rheological fluid includes 20 to 40 percent clean soft iron particles by volume combined with mineral oil, synthetic oil, water or glycol. These fluids are suspension of magnetizable micron-sized particles in a suitable carrier liquid. Rheological fluid are normally free-flowing liquid with a viscosity comparable to that of lubrication engine oil. Figure shows how the rheological fluid behaves before and after the fluid is subjected to the magnetic field. When the rheological fluid is subjected to magnetic field or current or both, the particle in the fluid form a chain structure and form particle cluster that obstruct the fluid movement. When, the, when using MR fluid in the device, there are four fundamental operational, operational modes, which are shear mode, flow mode, squeeze mode, and pinch mode. Let's see the current research finish or ongoing 
that have been done to improve magneto rheological fluids. Over the years, researchers have come up a few different design and arrangement in, in our dampers to explore the advantages of rheological fluid and at the same time to overcome the drawback of the fluid that come with it. And our damper is a semi-active damper that has design simplicity, durability as passive system, but its rapid response, large dynamic range and adaptability as active system. As Ramada in 2017 proposed a mix between MR damper and any current damper in order to achieve lower stiffness. The research is done by combining passive eddy current damper with semi-active MR damper. The purpose design able to lower 12% stiffness of the damper. Zeng et al. in 2016 designed a multi-coil damper where each coil has an individual exciting current. The novel design of the multi-coil MR damper shows a significant improvement compared to a typical multi-coil damper which is subjected to sinusoidal and triangle displacement. We et al. in 2020 designed a high-torque MR damper to provide adequate damping performance for heavy truck suspension. Instead of using a piston type damper, this design using a high torque rotary MR damper. After experiment and computer simulation, it is concluded that this type of damper can be used in heavy truck suspension, although it produces a significant amount of heat. Oh and Choi 2019 manufactured an MR damper with an orifice hole to study the relationship of passenger ride comfort with MR damper with and without an orifice hole. A robust sliding controller was designed to evaluate the performance and it was found that through computer simulation that the design MR damper can, be del can deliver better ride comfort when the MR damper with an orifice hole is applied to the suspension system. Another researcher, Zhao et al. 2017, trying to avoid the magnetic field supplied to MR damper from failing by redesign MR damper with permanent magnet and magnetic valves. The damper was tested in experiment and computer simulation based on quarter suspension model that was built. The results show were good like it was expected. In 2019, Hu et al. manufactured an MR damper with serial type flow channel to provide higher damping force at the same time reduce the size of the damper. The damper was tested and studied on the test rig under different currents shows that the damper has high vibration control capability and better mechanical property. Yun et al. in 2019 proposed a new MR damper that responds faster than typical MR damper. The damper was made to have more grooves around the housing to decrease the eddy current magnitude. From the experimental test shows that the strategy of reducing eddy current around the magnetic field zone indeed make the MR damper faster. Last damper on this list is from Kim et al. 2020 proposed a novel MR damper that have high adaptability at both low and high speed of a vehicle suspension system. The desired adaptability is achieved by varying the effective area of the main orifice by changing the coefficient of damping.
table in the slide shows all the MR damper that I was talking about just now. All the different improvement was studied and built in order to make the MR damper better in different applications. Although magneto rheological fluids has been discovered almost 80 years ago, the development of the device that utilize and exploit this kind of fluid still just only taking off just two decades ago. Magneto radical damper are start to be commercialized by engineering company. Extensive research and development by university and private firm was funded to find the best means to utilize magneto rheological fluids. On the one of the device is MR damper. Last five years is the most fruitful years to MR damper development. Researchers still and already have found the best means possible to utilize MR fluids to use in MR damper. Thank you very much. That's all.